All right. So it's an announcement for the library that we've uh, just released uh, practically on Monday, and it's about a fully homomorphic encryption. And you all, you by now you've been to at least one talk about FHE, so you know what, what it's about. And while I'm talking, you can just meditate on this picture above uh, that explains it pretty much. And if you want to know more about FHE and lattice cryptography, uh, you can. Uh, there are still a few, a few seconds available to screenshot or snapshot this, these two links. One is the collection of, uh, uh, collection of papers about FHE, and the second one is a very good book, a review of FHE. And just a few points that I want to emphasize about the algorithm that we use in this, in this library is first that uh, there's a very huge ciphertext expansion, 16,000 times, uh, two kilobytes per bit of uh, plain text. Second, uh, the operations on ciphertext, all the gates, uh, the binary gates that we have on uh, bits are very fast, but what takes time is the bootstrapping because all the separations introduce errors and after each operation we need to get rid of them. And that's what takes uh, the majority of time. And uh, okay, so there are two uh, implementations of the FHE on Torus. Uh, one of them is pure C++ called TFHE, and the second one is QFHE, which is based on CUDA. So uh, why do we need Python then? Well, we are, target, we are targeting GPUs, so we can hide all the overheads of Python behind asynchronous uh, calls to the kernels on GPUs. So it doesn't really matter that the Python is slow, because the GPU is fast. And um, all this score generation that we can do on Python uh, helps a lot with optimizing for performance. And I use it a lot in the library. And of course, Python is easy, it's easy to install, it's easy to see what is happening, it's easy to test, easy to, to hack, to, to do something with it. And that's how uh, an example looks like. That's what you can find in the repository. You just, uh, you create a key. Oh, there's no pointer probably here. Yeah, you create a key, uh, you encrypt some bits, you run a gate on them, and you, decrypt, you decrypt them with a private key back, and you can check that uh, you got what you expected. In this case, it's an AND gate, ran on a sequence of bits. Now for the most important part, the performance, of course, and that's what, uh, what we have in the, uh, in the title. First, uh, I, compare it, I compare it with the TFHE. Of course, it's a bit, you know, uh, not very fair because TFHE uses CPU, but we have a 100, 100 times uh, speed up uh, as compared to TFHE. That's using FFT for bootstrap. That's what TFHE uses. And also we can compare it to, to QFHE, which uses NTT, okay, which is a um, Fourier-like transform on finite fields, and it has about the same speed, but QFHE supports OpenCL as well. It's written in Python instead of CUDA, so you know it's still good. And uh, if you want to see it, you can check it out on this repository here. Thank you. Yeah, that's it. Thank you.